Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial on how you can download and install Alice 3. So you start by going to Alice website, alice.org, and then you go to get Alice here. Once you get there, I want you to scroll down to find Alice 3. That's the most recent version of the application. So you click on get it. You go to another screen. You scroll down all the way to download. So here, just look at the first row. It depends what, what, what laptop you have. If you're using Windows or you're using Mac. If you have the Mac, the Apple book, the Apple MacBook. Or if you're using Windows, if you're using Windows, most probably you're using 64 bits. So go ahead and click on that. And now you should be able to see a pop-up window. Let me show you how it looks like. So you will be able to see a pop-up window and you will click save. It will save the installer for you. And once you click on that, you will see a small downloading at the bottom of your page just wait for it to finish this download process might take up to six minutes a little bit a little more once this is done you're going to click on it and uh, it will run the executable for you so it's opening now and once it runs you're going to see a wizard window that looks like that if if that file didn't open for you you can always open your downloads so if you go to your downloads you can see um, the downloaded file in there even if you're using macbook you have your own downloads file you're going to find it there and you wait for this wizard window to finish. Once it's done, it will ask you for your language. Um, st stick with English. You will wait just a couple of minutes if, it, if this window didn't come up, but just wait. This window will come up automatically. Um, it will ask you whether you want to update an existing installation. It doesn't matter whether or not because you might have installed it before and you will accept the terms click next and again click next for that to allow all files that can be opened in Alice to automatically open with Alice so this is better to be clicked create desktop icon yes and now it's preparing to install and you'll have to wait a bit Once that is over, you can just click on finish. And finally, there you have it. It should be installed. You should be able to see it on your desktop. Or you can also go to the uh, start button. You can find it here. Or you can also type for it type Alice and you should find Alice that's is done now you can open it you can open any file with the extension of dot a 3 P uh, these are Alice files um, which stands for Alice 3 project and that is it my friends there we have it